recently we've been uh, contacted by clients who have the recalled Striker Rejuvenate uh, prosthetic hip. The problem with the Rejuvenate hip, it, it's what we call a modular hip. Usually the hip is made up of three parts. It's made up of the stem, a ball at the top of the stem, and a cup. What makes the Rejuvenate different than most hips is that the stem is actually broken up into two parts. And what's happened is there has been motion or friction uh, in the neck of the stem. And what this is doing is it's causing corrosion and excessive wear and tear on the stem. And when that happens, you end up with uh, cobalt and chromium particles being released into the hip joint. Now there are a couple problems with uh, having these metal particles released into your hip joint. The biggest problem has to do with uh, soft tissue damage. The particles can actually destroy muscle, tendons, and can inhibit bone growth, which can cause problems. And so we have many clients who have called us who have said that they've had a rejuvenate hip. They go in to the surgeon, they've had problems with it, lots of pain uh, and, and other problems. They go to the surgeon and the surgeon will take an x-ray. And the problem with an x-ray is it doesn't show soft tissue damage. So many of the patients have been sent on their way after going to their surgeon complaining of pain and problems. Uh, usually they're told it must be their back, they must have pulled a muscle, maybe they have tendonitis or bursitis, um, but things aren't right. And it wasn't until the Rejuvenate was recalled, which happened recently, that it's sort of the true cause of the pain was discovered. At that point, what doctors were told to do was to perform blood tests on their patients to determine if they have high levels of cobalt and chromium. And that will tell you whether you have this excessive wear and tear in the neck of the prosthetic hip. And so what we're discovering is a lot of the clients that we have that have gone in for testing uh, have these elevated levels of cobalt and chromium. And at that point, uh, there's different courses that the doctor can take. Um, one is to remove the hip and replace it with another one. Um, the other problem with uh, cobalt and chromium being released into your hip joint is it doesn't just stay in your hip joint. Uh, it actually spreads throughout your body, in your blood. And there has been a lot of theoretical uh, assumptions that these high levels of cobalt and chromium can increase your risk of cancer, increase your risk of heart problems, thyroid problems. We've had several clients with unexplained rashes and skin problems that occurred after they had their hip put in. And so this sort of overall systemic uh, risk of high cobalt and chromium is something that uh, people are also concerned about, especially when the levels get very high. So the Rejuvenate hip, it's a hip that was launched in June of 2008. It was recalled in June of 2012. During that time period, it's had lots of reported problems, uh, problems that were reported to the FDA um, about uh, excessive levels of cobalt and chromium being released into the hip joint. And on our website, we actually have all of those uh, FDA reports listed, and you can review them and see if your problems are similar uh, to the ones experienced by hundreds of other people. So if you have a strike or rejuvenate, it's very important to get in touch with an attorney right away. Um, there are statute of limitations associated with your case, and most states that's gonna be two years. And the safest assumption is to assume that that date starts to run from the date you find out that you have a recalled hip. And so it's very important to get in touch with an attorney because you have to have your rights protected. Uh, Stryker may be telling you that they're going to take care of you in the future if something bad happens, but if you don't file a lawsuit within two years of finding out about the recall, you're going to be completely on your own. You need a lawyer to help you and to protect your rights going forward.